Ahoy everyone, welcome to City Skylines. My name is Captain Corndog and this is the city of Cliff Point. Alright, so when I sat down to record this episode, I looked at the city needs and noticed that the commercial need was through the roof. So I thought to myself, great, a custom mall with some of the high-end shops for the richer citizens was one of the things I wanted to make, so I'll do that. And as soon as I started building and letting some in-game time go by, the need for commercial plummeted. Areas I had zoned for commercial just randomly started filling in all of a sudden. But I was already invested at that point, so I decided to just build it and it'll sort itself out later. I have no abandonment on, so they'll all just stay there until they have enough workers. I'm going to mainly focus this video around the building of the mall itself. I'm going to cut out a lot of the landscaping and parking lot portions because this build took me over 8 hours on 3 sittings to build. I haven't done custom builds before this series, so I go through a lot of trial and error to get some of the things to work the way I want. All in all, I think I did a great job and the mall ended up looking much better than I had originally imagined it, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to mostly let the music play and pop in whenever I feel like I need to. Like I said before, a lot of this build was trial and error. I had an idea in my head of how I wanted the layout of the mall and the surrounding area to look, but getting some of the buildings and props to work properly was a bit frustrating. The asset pack that I used came with some walls and ceiling tiles that I took advantage of to cover up the open hollow shell and connect everything together into one giant building. One thing that I knew I wanted to get into this build was a small courtyard in the middle with a glass ceiling and the sun shining through. It turned out really nice, but the only problem with it is that the render distance on the glass is much lower than most of the other objects I used. Once I zoom out even the slightest bit, the tiles disappear and you can just see down into the mall like nothing's there at all. It's a bit frustrating, but we'll just use our imaginations and pretend they're always there. Once I got the overall shape of the building down, I started adding in shops to the outside and adding in some more details. I wanted to make this mall have some pricier brands because it's right next to where the tourist district and some of the more expensive parts of town are going to be and they won't want to spend their money in a dollar store. So I threw in a Fendi store, an Armani store, and a couple other stores to fill out the bare side walls. The only shop I wouldn't consider a high-end store would be the at-home store, but it was a pretty big building so I wanted to include it anyways.
After I got the mall built, it was onto my favorite part of the build, the walking path around the mall itself. I found a bunch of really great decals on the workshop that I wanted to put around the city and thought this would be a great opportunity to use one of them. This took a really long time with the Move It mod to look the way it should, but the result in the end made it worth all the effort it took to make it. Now that I had the mall and the roads around it fully set up, it was time to start adding and connecting roads and the roads for the shopping center around the mall. I knew I wanted four entrances and a circular area around the mall, but other than that, the rest was off the cuff. I started doing a few things and changed my mind a couple of times, but I didn't build this beforehand to cut down on time. I just knew what assets I had and wanted to use and started building. Unfortunately, I have a day job, so I make videos in my spare time when I'm not doing some kind of graphic design work. I like the challenge of creating things, so it was more fun to figure it out in one go and more time efficient for me than building it a couple of times before making the actual video. Most of this last bit of the video is just adding in parking lots and some landscaping to fill out the empty spaces. The parking lots ended up being a real pain in the ass because I decided to use parking lot roads instead of big parking lots, so there were a lot of awkward shaped gaps between the lots, but I figured with the circular roads it would make building parking lots a challenge and added more to the realism. A lot of the landscaping ended up mostly being covering up where the parking lots were clipping into the roads with bushes and trees. That ended up being a lot of places, but I got it all eventually. And finally, we move on to the outer ring of shops. At first, I zoned this spot and built trees and bushes around those areas, but in the end, I went back and placed specific shops instead of letting the game randomly fill with shops that shouldn't be in this area. Like I said before, they can't just up and abandon the building, so they're not going anywhere anytime soon. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Skyline's Mall and the surrounding shopping center are finally finished. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe got some ideas of your own. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe and hit the bell so you can see every video when it comes out. I'm going to let the music play you guys out to some views of the city. Thanks again. Have a great day.